right, here's the graph. You guys are already done it. Welcome to class. Today is Monday, November 11th. Happy Veterans Day. Okay. Niners would do it for the veterans too. Okay, anyway. So here, what I want you guys to do, I want you to shade this in. Do you guys remember shading? Oh, man. What happened with this? Okay, that was the first time you probably did that kind of problem last year, shading, you know, one side or the other. And then it's been a whole, maybe a whole year, I don't know how, when we did it. But what did that even mean? Okay, how many points are on a coordinate plane? How many points make up an infinite, right? But I just did something. When we, or we all did, when we graphed this line, we split all those infinite points right in half. half. You did, you really split in half. We call this half that I just shaded, we call it a half plane. Okay, half plane. The whole thing is a big plane. It extends out infinitely all directions. But we just cut it in half. This is a half plane. Guess what this is called? Half plane. Half plane, right? So there are an infinite number of answers over here. By the way, you can keep shading it, but you don't do that practically. Let's pick a couple points in the solution half plane and see what we get from that. So look at this point, 5, 3. Can you put a little dot on 5, 3? So somewhere around here. I'm going to label it 5, 3. <coughs> no, because you like even if it were not that far, you still understand that it keeps going that way. You don't have to. I barely made it. OK. Should, half, well, should 5, 3 be a solution to this inequality? Should the order pair 5, 3 be a solution? Yes. The answer to that is absolutely, according to that graph. So what I'm going to do. And so I'm going to check it by substituting. So 5, 3. All right, I, make, I want to make sure I got my numbers right. So 5 and 3. Remember, that was negative x, so that's negative 5. Is 3 greater than or equal to negative 1? Yes. So does that check? Does that point work? Yes. Yeah, it does work. All right, let's check out another point. How about 3, 1? So I'm going to do another point, erase this work. So 3, 1, right on the line, right on the line. What do you guys think? Should it work or not? Yes, or equal to. Or equal to. So I'm going to check it here. And sorry, this was 3, 1. Uh, so 1, negative 3, plus 4. All right, is 1 greater than or equal to 1? Yes. So that works, doesn't it? So 3, 1 is a solution. Yes, sir? No, some of them will have greater than or equal to, or just greater than. So what would that be? If this did not have that little symbol, that would not be a solution. And that has to do with that open circle and closed circle idea. But that's, uh, we'll do another one of that one. Wouldn't that be like the dotted line? Mm-hmm, the, the open. So we make it dotted? A line. dotted line, yeah, yeah. When you graph it, yes. That will be different. Uh, sorry, let's pick another point. Go with 1, 1. 1, 1. So put the point 1, 1. Should that work? Yeah. No, it shouldn't work. Let's see. 1. Is 1 greater than or equal to 3? No. Do you see how that point does not work? Okay. Can you guys find another point? Just list it out. You don't have to work it out, but what other point will not work? It cannot work. Uh, yeah, Darius? Uh, one, or yeah, one, two. One, two would not work. Another one, Justin? Negative three, two. Negative three, two would not work. Give me one that does work, that we haven't listed. Does work, Drew? Ten, ten. Ten, ten, somewhere up there. Yep, that works. Yes, William? Five, four, five, four. So like right here somewhere. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys get that? Mm -hmm. What you're going to be doing on the first half of, of the lesson is they're going to give you an inequality, and you just have to check the point that they ask you to, to, <clears throat> to check. So they're going to go check that point. Is it a part of the solution? And you say yes or no, but you have to show the work. You have to show me at the end. So does this point work? I don't know. 2 is, is 2 greater than or equal to 3? Well, so you just put no. Are they going to give us a graph? Mm -mm, no graph. 
So you can do it just with the inequality. All you need is this, and you can figure out that answer. But you can also do it with a graph to check your own answers when you graph. You can check every single one of them. These are all checkable, because all you have to do is pick one outside, one inside. If they both work, you're good. On your graphs, you know, okay, you don't have to. But when I grade it, I take more points because like, where's a check? So you could have checked it. Yes, sir? No, no, no. On this, these problems, you do not graph. But when you are told to graph, you can just graph it. If you get it right, great. But if you didn't check it, you won't know for sure. That's on you. Yeah, just put it right there. Okay, uh, let's go with another one here. All right, so this is more of what you're going to get. I'm going back to yellowish, orangish. Why are you orange? It's like peach. Okay, um, 2x. Oh. <laughs> it's like puree peach. Okay. All right, your first step. So if you like steps, here's a great, great way of working it out. Rewrite in slope intercept form. So that's your first step, rewrite in slope intercept form. Now don't use the negative A over B and the C over B, do not do this. It throws off the inequality sign because it does change. Just solve for Y. <clears throat> so what should I do to get Y by itself? Subtract 2X. So I'll end up with 3Y is less than or equal to negative 2X plus 9. So that's what I, when I subtract the 2X on both sides. And then what do I do? Divide everything by? 3. three. And when I say 3, as when I say divide everything by 3, I really mean that. So I get y is less than or equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 3. Another way of dividing by 3, like if you don't like this notation, which is totally fine with me, you just do this. Divide everything by 3. And that gives you the same numbers. Okay, that's your first step. Rewrite it in sub intercept form. You guys okay with that? All right, next step, number 2. Um, it, I would put determine the type of line, and I'll show you how you can determine that. Type of, and we call it, I'm going to actually call it this boundary line. Because the line is either part of the answer or not the answer, but it tells you where your half plane gets split. So here's how you do it. If you have a less than or a greater than symbol, Someone already said it. You get what kind of line? Dashed line. If you have a less than or a greater than symbol, dashed line. If you have a less than or equal to or a greater than or equal to, that's called a solid line. <coughs> yeah, you just you draw your points and then you just draw these little dashes going through it. And you have to do that, guys, because if you don't, it's wrong. If you say it's dashed, when it's supposed to be solid, you're missing out an infinite number of answers. Isn't that kind of bad? Like you got an infinite number of answers wrong. Huh? <laughs> Minus infinity. That'd be awful to agree. Fax doesn't like that. So, Is the half of infinity Yes. So, four infinity. Yes. But an infinity over infinity is one. That's correct. <laughs> it's correct, and yet. Nah. Okay. Um, third step. Sorry. Uh, shade the correct half plane. Shade the correct half plane. So that means you either, and this is how we say it, you either shave above the line or below the line. And this is like, this is like how to do graphs. If you have a less than or a less than or equal to, so this is another category, shade below the line. I hope that makes sense. Right? If it's less than, 
it should go below the line. If it's less than or equal to, also shade below line. So what would greater than or greater than or equal to do? Shade above. All right, and because that's hard to, my uh, meter stick got broken last year. Someone just ripped it apart. It must have been a cat or something. It's not like claw marks. Okay, here's my umbrella, but it's also known as my line. We'll just call it a shaded, or sorry, uh, um, solid line, okay? Can you guys point above the line? Can you guys point to above the line? Above the line, point to it. Above? Above. Above, right? Shape or point below the line. Below the line. Above. Below. Above. Below. He's doing a dance. <laughs> <laughs> In the 70s, that was awesome. I, just, I, I had to ask my dad about that one. Okay. Above the line. Below it. Ready? Above. Above. Below, above, below. Swing your arms the whole way. Above, below, above. Okay. Can I do this one this season? What if it's horizontal? Above, below, above, below, above, below, below. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Vertical line. All right, ready? This is a guess, and you can look at your neighbor. Hope they're right. Above. <laughs> Above, below, above, below, above, below, below. Sorry, no, that's not, I was wrong. So I was trying to trick you guys. To the right, yeah, you just think X equals three right here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, above. I'm going to do that again. I'm trying to trick you guys. All right, and then number four. Will, this is your favorite step. Check your graph. Um, to check, really, you would need two points because uh, if you only did one point, well, I'll, tell you, I'll show you where the error is. I'm just making up a line, and we'll make it a solid line. Okay, let's say you shaded below, so it's less than or equal to, according to this graph. Let's say you check 0, 0, and it works. It works. It's like, yeah, it works in the inequality. But the answer, the answer was, it was this line. It was a parallel line, but it was just shifted down a little bit. This point still works. You should have checked out another point as well, maybe a point up here. And the closer you are to that line that you're checking, the more accurate you'll get. Because if I check over here, that's wrong. I mean, it's going to be wrong. This point down here is going to be right, but they're not telling me where that line should go. So if I check kind of closer as best I can, that will help me out. So we just always check? <clears throat> I would check on the line. That's always usually a good point because it might be dashed. You said solid, whatever and then something above or below it real close. That's easy to check. You don't have to make them hard. I'll give you those difficult problems later. Oh man, I lost my peach. Uh, let's go with a, a like peach. <laughs> That's a beautiful way of describing it. Look at that, peach sunset. Never heard that. That's so. That's artistic. Thank you, Justin. All right, let's go through a problem. Let's go do the four steps. Oh, wait, did we, we already got this. All right, y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 3. All right, what kind of line is it? Is it solid or dashed? Solid. I don't know. Oh. Wait, it's an equal. Oh, it's written. I think we call it solid. Well, it's still, okay. Technically would have been solid, but that's not one you're going to get. Um, wow. It was a lesson, right? Lesson or equal to? Is that it? I don't want to change the problem. This is the problem we were just working on. All right. It's going to be solid. And am I going to shade above the line or below it? 
How do I know it's below? Yeah, uh, but you're going to shade below line because the lines are going to be shade art. Right. Let's go with the graph. One, two, three, four. I'll go four each direction. And you'll get graph paper. So this would be pretty accurate. All right, where do I start, Anna Grace? Yes, where do I start? Uh, so you start at uh, three. On the? On the Y-axis. Yeah, three on the Y-axis. Start with your Y-intercept. That's the easiest place to start. Matthew, where do I go from there? Um, down two, over to the right three. One, two, one, two, three. Okay, so I'll go right here. And that's enough for a graph technically. And you'll have more space if you wanted another point. So we'll do a solid line. Yes, you can do two. Three confirms. Two proves, three confirms. So for the test or quiz or whatever, can we just do two? Yes, you can. But again, two will show me that you got a line, but three will confirm it for you. Not for me, for you. So please do what's best for you. All right, anyway, uh, we said shade below. So I shade everything below it. That's step number three, shade the appropriate region. And then just pick one point that should be on, should be off, and don't make it too hard on yourself. Zero, zero, okay, again, that would be okay, but it's kind of far, like I'd pick something close to this. Okay, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I mean, give me something, like get, get close to that one. Uh, two, zero, oh sorry, two, zero right here. That's getting there. That's a good one. Three, one. Three, one, I'm going to pick. One is less than or equal to negative two thirds three plus three. Okay. Should three, one work? Yes. So three, one is right here. That's three, one. Should three, one work? Darius knows. He said yes. Okay, I don't know. One is less than or equal to negative two plus three. One is less than or equal to one. Yes. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so that works good because it's supposed to work. And give me one that should not work pretty close. Th uh, four, four, two. two. Yeah, that's what one, two, three, four, one, two. All right, that's fine. Four, two. Four, one. Yeah, let's do four, one. Four, one. That's better. That's better. Okay. You can, see, you can get even closer and closer, and that's good, but maybe half might be a little harder to do, but. I think we should But you can. What'd you guys say, four, one? Yes. All right, so four, one. That's the next point we're gonna do. All right, one is less than or equal to, oh, negative eight thirds plus three, which is really just negative two and two thirds plus three. One is less than or equal to? One and one. No, one third. I think it's just one third. Is one less than or equal to a third? No. No. So that should not have worked. This one, neither that one. You guys get that? You're not going to have to do a ton of these. But check them because you could be off. You said we will? Will not. I love the next three lessons. This lesson is one of my favorites. You know why? It puts everything you looked at this chapter and previous chapters, previous chapters to work. So solid line, which is a closed circle. Remember your closed circle? It's the same thing. And an open circle is a dashed line. That's review of last year, this year, the year before, two years after that, one year previous to that one. Okay. Yeah, I review, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me give you your homework for this first part, and then you guys could do, we'll do the second part um, after lunch. Numbers two through nine all. Mr. Ray, can you save colors? Can I what? Save colors. What grade did you Save colors? Save colors, no. Uh, other, if, if you're using it, you could just keep it, but you can't, like, save it. Two through nine. Oh. No, you just need regular paper. No graph paper on these. 
No, uh... Do you have two homeworks, like one right now and one in the next? Yes. Then get this done. All right, Swivel, that's it.